Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is another Patreon only video about VCBox security. This is part one and I will uh, teach you how to enable allow IP list in the VCBox. This is uh, the method that I'm using uh, when I don't have a firewall in front of my uh, VC dial and it's very effective. We have other ways like dynamic portal as well, but I prefer this method because in this method we don't publish any port except SSH that is very secure. So you just need to uh, have a very secure password for your SSH and everything else will be blocked. And you need to allow them in your allow IP list. Of course, this method is not uh, useful and is not uh, practical in some scenarios that you have some uh, clients that they don't have the fixed IP address. But if you can use this method, I can say this is the uh, one of the most secure way to uh, secure your VC box in a stance. Let's go and see how we can allow, enable allow IP list and how this is working in VC box. Before I start configuring the uh, VC dial IP allow list, a very quick recap is that allow list let you define just the trusted network to access your VC dial, access the web panel or uh, access the SIP or RTP to register their soft phone or if you have WebRTC, they just need to access the web panel. So just your allowed IP list will be able to access and all other external traffic will be blocked. This is a very secure way that no one can access your system. How do we configure it? You need to log in as admin, log in with the user that have access, go to your admin, and then select system settings. By the way, all the steps that I'm explaining here are in the attached PDF file in the same post. So the same steps with the screenshot, you can follow there as well. Then you need to search for uh, allow list or IP list and you need to set this one to one by default it is zero so for you you need to set it to one and submit it after you have submitted this uh, uh, IP allowed list you will see this IP list so you need to select IP lists select VC white and set active to yes. And here you need to add your IP address, your public IP address. If you don't know what is your public IP address, just search what is my IP address. And in the Google, you will see this is, for example, my public IP address. Yours definitely is different. So add it here. Of course, sorry, you need to click on the what is my IP address and you will see your IP address here. So add your public IP address here into your IP allowed list because if you don't add it here, then you will lose your access. Of course, I will teach you how to add if you lose your access as well, but yeah, add your IP list, submit. Uh, that's it from the web panel. Now you need to SSH to your system. Use if you are using Mac or Linux, you can just SSH using a terminal. If you are using Windows, you can use PuTTY to SSH to your terminal. Next step is to go and configure the uh, VCBox firewall. In order to do that, you need to type YAST firewall. When you enter the firewall configurations, go to the interfaces select interfaces and then with the tab you can go to the next uh, section and then you can see I have a network interface ETH0. This is the network interface that has public IP address on my virtual machine that is actually in digital ocean. So what you need to do, you need to select change zone. Of course, if your zone is not public, for example, if it sets to um, external change it to public. You can just click change zone and then here I'm working with tab. You can change it, change the zone to the public. 
my zone is already in public, so I don't need to change it. That's the first step. Next, with the tab, you can come back again and then go to the public, enter on the public. And with the tab, you will see the list of allowed uh, services. For you, definitely, there is asterisk, Apache, or HTTP. Remove all of them. You just need to select with a space and then select remove. Of course, not SSH, just any other service that you have. Uh, except SSH, remove all of them. So uh, your result should be like this one. I have in, the, in my public zone, I just have SSH service selected. And then select accept. Because I have already configured this server, so I just brought it, but you need to select accept. That's it. The firewall is configured. The last step is that we need to tell our um, cron job, our uh, VCBox scheduler, to read the IP addresses from the database and allow them and uh, block all others. In order to do that, you need to run cron tab dash E. This is uh, this command we are using to access the cron jobs, the schedulers, the scripts that are running in the background. So just uh, enter cron tab space dash E and uh, Scroll down to the end of uh, your uh, script. With page down, you can uh, go to the end of the script. You will see there are two lines like this one. USR, USR slash bin VB dash firewall. Just go there and comment them. We want to disable them. So just uh, put a hash in front of them. With this method, you can comment these two lines. We don't need them because we want to use the VC, uh, VB firewall, VCbox firewall whitelist. And then copy and paste these two, or just enter it. It is a star, a star, a star, means it will run this script, that is the VCbox firewall, every minute. And uh, it will check for the whitelist. And even if we reboot it, then the same command will reboot. You just need to copy and paste uh, these two and enter uh, below these two lines. You may not have this one because I already have my SSL configured, so don't worry about this line. Just go to the end of the line and uh, copy-paste these two lines. I've, I have already put this in the PDF, so you can just copy and paste from the PDF. And then with the Control X, you can, uh, when you uh, enter Control X, it will ask you, do you want to save it? Because uh, I didn't change anything, it didn't ask me, but if you press Control X and then you press Y, then you can save it. That's it. Your VC box is already uh, configured and is ready uh, with the whitelist. Of course, um, this method, as I told you, is perfect when you have public fixed IP address. It means that I always want to access this system from a specific IP address. But you can... Uh, Use this method. Imagine you you are outside and uh, you are not in your home or in your office that have public IP address, and you want to give yourself access from uh, your IP address. So there is another way to add IP address as well. Because how this system is works is that it adds the IP address to the database. So we can add the IP address uh, via command line as well. I have the command here that I will show you. Uh, as I said, you can find the command in the uh, PDF as well. Uh, what we do here, actually, we are connecting to the database and we are inserting into the VCDial IP list, into the uh, IP list entries table, our IP address and this IP list ID that is always should be VC white. So just change this IP address with your IP address and then you are done. So this method is required, for example, if you forgot to, in the last step, if you forgot to enter your public IP address here. Or for example, you are going uh, somewhere else and you are not in the same office or your home that you have a public fixed IP address and you want to add your IP address. Because you can SSH to the system, you need to SSH to the system and run this command and just change this IP address with the public IP address of your own. 
I know this is a little, um, maybe not very straightforward, but this is very secure method because the only thing that is open to the world is just SSH that you are protecting with the SSH key or with a, a strong SSH password and no other services are um, published to the outside world. Um, there are other methods as well that I will explain in the other parts like the visitor portal or even a firewall in front of it that we'll discuss in the later videos. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please put in the comments and I will be happy to help. Thank you and see you in the next video.